that. You must know what happened to it. You can't have been as drunk as me. I was drunker, I reckon. Well, come on, you better hurry up and find her. Leanne will be down in a minute, and who knows what the poor girl will do at the side of your bed chest. Oh, look, it's not upstairs. It must be in here somewhere. Do you know, I did wake up with the faintest taste of cotton and cement dust in my mouth. I think I might have eaten it. Look, if I can't find it, I'm going to have to go to work like this. Then all the other blokes are going to laugh at me. Is that oh, what? No, get off! All Where right, I give in, I give Where? in, I give in. Where? It's in the kitchen. Kitchen, right. It's under the table, down by the side of the fridge. How would it get... Um. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Audrey! Audrey, you run off the... Before I get a chance to ask you. Ask me what? Well, uh, will you uh, will you be going for a drink later, you know, in the Rovers this evening? Well, yeah, I mean, we usually do have a drink together most days after work, so why not? Um, and did you, uh, did you say that, uh, you got a council meeting this afternoon? Yes. Well, I just wondered, well, you know, maybe that if you, uh, bobbed into Bob, or maybe you could tell him that I'd be in the Rovers for about six o'clock. Could you not phone him yourself? Uh, yeah, I, I could, but, you know, if you, if you could. Oh, yeah, it's not just having a rush to see you later. Mmm, she seems very chirpy. Audrey, you all right? Yeah, 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 fine. Come on, come on. It's like having Jeez. someone go through your knicker drawer. Oh, I. You'd have been rummaging through my checkbook given half a chance. How would you like it if Les scrutinised every penny you were spending? <laughs> It'd be nice if you took an interest. See, me and our Les, we've got a simple system. Where financial matters are concerned, I earn it, he drinks it. Yeah, well, I prefer it when Jim keeps his nose out of my purse. Hey, well, don't you knock it, love. At least it shows he cares. Yeah, I suppose so. Hey, it proves he's not after me for my money, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, blimey. Have you seen the time? Come on. Both when he'll have his guts for garters. Well, what about my time? Well, just get him at dinner, sorry. go on. Yeah, no, no, I'm uh, sorry, but uh, the vacancy's already been filled. What can I say? If only you'd been here a couple of hours ago. I'm sorry about that, love. Turn around now. See ya. What do you think you're doing? Nothing. Have you taken somebody on without consulting? <laughs> no, no, of course I haven't. Keep your hair on. I just couldn't give her the job, could I? No, you couldn't. And I'll tell you for why. OK, because you do not run this shop. I do. You tell me what was wrong with that last applicant. <laughs> well, you saw her. Yeah? So what? Well... She didn't, uh, do anything for me. Oh, well, I'm sorry, uh, Vic. What was it you were hoping she would, uh, do for you? <laughs> oh, come on, Dev. She was old enough to be my mum. If I'm going to be stuck in here all day, then I want someone I can get on with. Maybe someone that, you know, is a, a little bit more pleasing to the eye if you catch my drift. Oh, I catch a drift. Yeah, now you're looking for someone a little bit younger. Yes. Mm, a little bit blonder. Hey, <laughs> well, maybe. A little bit thinner, maybe, but with, like, with all the curves in the right places. <laughs> See, now you're talking. Yeah, you know, maybe we should be a little bit more specific on the advert, Vic. How about shop assistant required, preference given to X supermodel? <laughs> Why not? Well, I'll tell you why not, because this is not your call, Vic. I will choose who works here and you will put up with it. I mean, this is the business. It's not a private dating club for skinny shopkeepers that can't find a squeeze. Well, looking for stuff, then. Seeing your sign outside. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. And, you know, you are exactly the kind of person we were looking for. Isn't that right, Vic? Yeah. Are you joking? I'm a trained beautician and stylist. What makes you think I'd want to work here? <laughs> what time's your interview? Half eleven, I think. Well, I hope you sound a bit more positive when you're there. Well, I've not had any time to plan for it, have I? I just have to wing it. I suppose that's my fault. No, it's not. But that reminds me. I've rearranged your appointment for the maternity clinic for Friday. What, this coming Friday? Yes. And there's no need to consult your diary, cos this time you're going. I never said I wasn't. No. But just remember, we're doing this for you, OK? We're on your side. There's no need to make us jump through hoops every time we try and get you to do something. Do you want toast? No, thanks, I'll serve you. Yeah, you could have got a dress, mate. Right. <laughs> so how are you planning on productively using your half-term, then? You're going to chase a few aliens, lay waste to civilization as we know it? Might, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good lad. Juice? Yeah. Please. Tony, me. Door was open. Hey, Man, just stay where you are. Why? Flu. We're contagious. You've 
cat flu the whole week. No, you look fine to me. I'll risk it. I feel we said I had the constitution of an ox. No, ma'am, really, I don't want you to risk getting this. It's awful. You'll be laid up for days. What flu bug? Eat your cereals. Well, look, I just wanted a quick word, if you'd got a minute. Well, is it important or is it gossip? No, I don't know. Look, it won't take long. Look, ma'am, this is just not a good time. Just give us a couple of days to get over it and I'll come around to the salon. I mean... We don't want you to risk your health. Yeah, all right then. Well, the uh, lovely seeing you, even from a distance. Bye, Grandma. Bye, Grandma. Bye. Bye sweetheart. Bye, bye. What's going on? Who's got the flu? <sighs> no one's got flu. Do you ever think I go on at you, asking you to make your bed, clean your room, pick up clothes from off the floor? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's how I feel right now. So, I've just told a little white lie to stop my mum going on at me. This house is going mad. I'm going to play on the computer. He said it. There we are, love. Thank Thanks, you. Sweetheart. Bye. Hey. What? I heard you were jacking ink garage for a new career. Oh, really? And why is that, then? Well, Gwen tells me that you want to be your own personal bank manager. Gianna, shut up, will you? All right? I'm just helping out a friend, you understand? A friend? Uh-huh. The way she goes on, you sound like an old married couple. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hey, do you know, I don't know what they're putting them. Barbecue beef flavour, I'm addicted. <laughs> well, perhaps I could interest you in buying some TV licence uh, saving stamps. No, thanks. Well, how about some ordinary stamps? You never know when you might need a stamp. Yeah, I do, when you send a letter. And I don't send letters, so I don't need stamps. Well, what about a postal order? Make a very nice present for somebody's birthday. Are things a bit slow in the post office today? <laughs> no, I just want all our customers to know that we now provide a wide range of services. Well, I'll bear it in mind. Right. Uh, as a gazette come? Yes, but there's no rush. Plenty of copies. Premium bonds are a good investment. You can buy them here. Well, I'll say one thing for you. You know your stuff. Well, I had a very nice man training me. I think I've got the swing of it now. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Oh. There we are. What's this? Murder and Mystery in Weatherfield by Ken Barlow. Murder Mystery? What's that? Are you not taking to write in horror stories, have you? <laughs> it's social history. The headline's a bit over the top. The murders were nearly a hundred years ago. Well, like as not, they'll blame Ebel Ez for it. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> See you later. Uh, bye. So, what's it all about? Ken? Well, I'm being a bit of a detective. It's a great local story, but there's a few pieces of the jigsaw missing. Oh. I'm hoping someone will read the article, get in touch and fill the gap. Right. Uh, well, I tell you what, you have that one on me. Oh, right. I'll give it a bit of a push, see if we can sell a few more copies. You know, get some interest going. Thanks, Rita. Bye. Bye. Oh, I'm so bored. Well, you could help. Lunch is nearly ready. Ooh, that's really exciting. Well, you think yourself lucky. I could do with a little less excitement in my life. Mum, why didn't you tell Grandma when she came round earlier? because we're not ready to tell anyone yet, including David, so don't go teasing him. Yeah, but you won't be able to keep it secret for much longer. I know. We just need time to think about it before we go shouting it from the rooftops. I'll get it. What do you want? Sarah Lewin? Yeah. Hiya. Hiya. Okay. Hi, Candice. Just about to have dinner. Do you want to stay? Um, I don't know what you're having. Mum, <laughs> shepherd's pie. Yeah, go on then. Is that all right? Well, it doesn't look like I've got much choice, does it? All right, well, um, will you call us when it's ready? Because we might as well go upstairs. Yeah. Sarah, remember what I said. You are serious? Mm, why not? Why not? Helen Cooper's why not? She eats reps for breakfast. Well, she doesn't buy anything off us at the moment, so uh, what harm can Linda do? She said she wanted to be a saleswoman, right? Well, this is her chance to see if she can sell. I've heard stories of reps bursting into tears after a meeting with her, and that's the men. Good! She wanted a challenge, she's got a challenge. Have you wondered what she's up against? Oh, she knows the school. I mean, you can say what you like about Linda, but you can't say she hasn't got guts. Yeah. And after half an hour with Ellen Cooper, they might be all over the floor. <laughs> so, is it all right, then? 
It's beans on toast. Do you like it? Yeah, it's lovely. It's the best beans on toast I've Oi, ever had. You don't have to take them, Maggie. Well, it's better than anything you get at the Rovers. Is that all right for you? All right, that'll do. Look, I want you to make me a promise. Go on, then. What's that? For once, I don't want to talk about money. All right, I reckon I can manage that. I mean it. It's not your problem, so stop fretting about it. Life's too short. OK. Now you're the boss. I believe in living for the day and let tomorrow look after itself. You know, that's not a bad philosophy. Good, I'm glad you agree. Because I want you and me to get back to having some fun like we used to do. And you're a lot more fun when you're not dishing out financial advice. You reckon? Yeah, I do. So you wouldn't... You wouldn't mind spending some more time with me, eh? Yeah, I would. Why? What have you got in mind? I've got an idea in mind. Oh, yeah? You might think it's stupid. Is this a game? Do I have to guess? Why don't you move in here with me? Move in? Really? Here with you? Here with me, aye. It's not that difficult, you know. You just pack up your stuff in the old place, bring it in here, unpack it, and there you are. whoop de doo you've moved in. Simple. You're living with me. <laughs> Steve. Oh, look, forget about Steve. He'll be away on soon. Besides, it's my house. I can kick him out any time I want. <laughs> oh, right. So you're not dead against the idea? No, I'm not. It's just that it's a bolt out of the blue, that's all. I mean, you could have worked up to it a bit more gently. Well, you were the one who said you like to live for the day. Yeah, well, I do, but sometimes I like to see what's coming. Yeah, well, my fault rushing, I suppose. Only seems to make sense to me, that's all. As you and I going out together, we get on fine. You're spending more and more time here, and rent is your biggest outgoing, isn't it? It's a fact. Just think of all that money you could save to go to paying off your debts. Yeah. I just don't know it's a big decision. It's not a decision. It's an idea. Think about it. Yeah, all right. I'll think about it. Well, fair play to you. You take as long as you want, OK? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I can tell by the look on your face it's in. Have you read it? I have been working all morning. Well, read it now. It's my lunch hour. Fine, it's not supposed to be a chore. Hey, Kent, you're going to give me nightmares tonight, you? Ah, you've read my article. Yeah? I've seen a future of horror and its name is Ken Barlow, master of the macabre. <laughs> well, it's not meant to be a horror story. Oh. Well, it give me the willies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mates? Yeah, mates. What's wrong with that? You and Dougie? Yeah. Well, call me cynical, Debs, but I just can't imagine you being mates with someone that you once fancied. It's the first time for everything, anyway. Nothing to say we're going to be mates forever. Yeah, well, go easy, eh? Be careful. There's no need. I've got my big sister looking out for me. Oh, who said it was you I was worried about? <laughs> Charming. Listen, Dougie's been through a rough time. I know what it's like, that first relationship after a loss. You're very vulnerable. It's easy to get hurt. Hi, Audrey. What can I get you? Gin and tight, love, please. Right. Hi. Hey, uh, Any requests? Oh, yeah, go on, put that on again. OK, then. Well, do you want to go out? We could go down the precinct. Mm, no. Shall I tell you what? You're getting really boring, you. Sorry, go if you're bored. I didn't say I was bored. I said you were boring. You never want to go out. Yeah. So, there's nowhere to go anyway. Oh, yeah, so I guess we'll just stay in here and twiddle our thumbs. It's better than going out. What? Can you keep a secret? Yeah, of course I can, but what kind of secret? A big secret. Go on, tell me. Right, if I tell you, you've got to promise me you will never, ever tell anyone else. OK. I'm being serious. Yeah, if OK, found what is out, it? I would die. I promise, I promise, just what is it? Oh, I, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't. <sighs> no way, you can't do that to me. Tell me that and then not tell me. I can keep a secret, everyone knows I don't grasp. Do you remember that time that me and it was Lorraine Harris, we went and stole them hair slides, yeah? And I got caught and she didn't. I never grasped on her. Yeah, OK, just keep your voice down. Right. Then. Tell me you can trust me. Okay, um, I'm pregnant. No way! Shut up, Maria! <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. You that shut you up? <laughs> I can't believe you. Uh, Hi. Where'd it go? Not bad, actually. I don't think I said anything too controversial. Good. Extra money will come in useful. I said it went OK. I didn't say I'm the new A&E charge nurse. No. 
I've got faith in you. Yeah, I'm glad to hear it. But don't hold your breath. There were six other candidates, and two of them are a lot more experienced than me, so... So, it's our turn. Time we had a bit of good news in this family. Yeah, well, don't get your hopes up too high. So, how's things on the home front? Candice is upstairs. All oh, right. I can hear him talking. Yeah. You're having me on. I'm not. I've been to the doctors. She said I'm pregnant. She should know. Does your mum and dad know? No. I'd be dead if my mum and dad knew something like that about me. But what did they say? Not a lot. Well, um, they said a lot, actually, but um, they've not had a huge go at me. But no one's allowed to know. Not even David knows. Are you sure you're not having me on? I've been to the hospital. I've had a scan. I've seen it. You pregnant? Hang on a minute. How come you didn't tell me that you did it? So, I don't have to tell you everything. So you actually did it? Yeah. You? Yes. So who was it? Oh, come on, you've got to tell me. Was it someone from our school? It won't have been anyone from our year. What about year 10? Was it someone from year 10? Oh, come on, you've got to tell me. Actually, hang on a minute, I think I know. No, you don't. Neil Ferns. It was Neil Ferns, innit? Oh, my God, that is, like, so disgusting. Right, just leave it. Neil Ferns! No wonder you didn't want to tell anybody. Just leave it. No, actually, but what are you going to do? How do you mean? Well, you're not going to have it, are you? I've got no choice. Of course you've got a choice. There's always abortion. I mean, Sarah Jones, she's in the year above us. She had an abortion last summer. She said that she didn't, but everyone knows she did. I can't. They say it's too late. What do you mean, too late? I'm five months pregnant. It's not allowed. I've got to have the baby. So what did she say? She said she'd think about it. Oh, I see. No, she thinks it's a good idea, you know what I mean? Just a big step, so she said she'd think about it. Well, I hope it goes well for you. Yes. Anyway, i better get back. It's alphabetic spaghetti tonight, and uh, I haven't got a dictionary. See, see you later. later. So, um, did you see him at the council? I mean, did he, uh, did he say he might be popping in? Mm, is this pop? Yeah. Mm, you're a sly one. Oh, give well, have you kissed him yet? We've gone a little bit further. Oh. <laughs> um, don't you think it's a bit soon getting all gooey-eyed about someone like that? <laughs> Getting gooey, I don't be daft. It's just, it's just a bit of fun. Yeah, we all need a bit of yeah. fun now and then. I know, I know. I mean, that's what I thought about Circa. Look how that turned out. And like you said to me at that time, I mean, you don't know much about Bob, do you? No, but you do. And if you say it's okay, well, that's all right with me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my, listen. I think I should. Oh, but hey, Bob, uh, we're here. Oh, Alma, <laughs> Audrey. Hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm Maxine. Hello. <laughs> uh, but would you like a drink? Because we've just nearly finished these. I uh, thought we might go somewhere else. OK, well, we'll do that if you like. Oh, no, you can't go yet. We've got to check out whether you're all right for our Alma. <laughs> check your credentials, <laughs> see we're going to be honourable enough or not. Ah, <laughs> uh, right, well, I'll see you later then, OK? Bye. Bye. Doubt that much. Audrey, are you all right? You're in a funny mood all day. You've heard that saying, you know, you've got to be cruel to be kind. Yeah. It's my turn to be cruel. Wish I knew what they were talking about. Yeah, you can always bug the room, you know. I was joking. I just want to be sure we've discussed all the options before we turn ourselves into the best bitter gossip the streets had in years. Yeah, well, I think we're a bit low on options. She's having this baby, so maybe it's time we all just faced it, huh? There's adoption, there's fostering. Are you serious? We need to discuss it. So you want to give up your first grandchild to be adopted? No, I didn't say that. I know there are no easy options. I'm thinking of Sarah Lou. And if we have a chance to give her back a childhood, then I want us to have a serious talk about it. He writes well, doesn't he? Well, he's a very educated man, Rita. Oh, I made all the hairs on the back of my neck stand on end when I read it. Yeah, it's a creepy story, enough to send a shiver up his back. Well, he made it sound so real, didn't he? Well, I mean, it was real, cos it happened right round the corner from here. Seems mm -hmm. to be many murders round here. Few, mm -hmm. over the years. Oh, sorry, must have gone. That's all right. Well, I mean, that's at least two, innit? Oh, heck. 
What's the matter? <sighs> I've got to walk over the road on my own. Oh, come on, it's only over there. So? I mean, there's shadows and you don't know who's lurking about, do you? I'll give Ashley a ring. He'll come and fetch me. You know, the sad thing is, he'll come. Could be right under. Fall out of bed into work. I know. But you don't fancy it. Well, I fancy him. It's just that, well, I don't fancy living together. Ah, you like your freedom, is that <laughs> it? I've just got rid of one man. I'm happy. Why spoil it by moving in with another? I see. So it's thanks, Jim, but no thanks. Yeah, just as soon as I pluck up courage to tell him. First box is our broad beans. We won't spray them in. Audrey? I saw the light and I thought you'd be in bed. Didn't have to wait up for me, no. Ah, oh, Mama, come on, sit down. We need to talk. Oh, that sounds serious. Has something happened? Yeah. Oh, it's not bad news. You know, every time everything starts going all right for me, something terrible happens. Go on, then, what is it? It's Bob. Bob? Well, Bob's fine. We've just had a lovely evening out together. The other night, um... Well, he offered to come round and help me with my budget bumps for the council. But round here? Yeah, Alma, I swear, I promise you, I didn't give him any encouragement. Audrey, what are you trying to say? He tried it on, didn't he? I don't believe this. Listen, I couldn't oh. believe it either, but, I mean, it was quite clear what he wanted. Honestly, Alma, I have been going through agonies. What is wrong with you, Audrey? What do you mean, what's wrong with me? What, I mean, is it so difficult for you to see me being happy? I mean, it was bad enough what you were doing before, but, I mean, to, to, to tell stories, to make up barefaced lies... Alma, please, I just don't want you to be hurt. I feel terrible about it, honestly. Do you know, you're pathetic, you are. And sad. And I am... Very angry with you. It's not me, it's him. You no, ask no, him. Just, no, just stop. He'll probably stop. tell you no. a pack of lies. Not I'm one more word. Listen. Audrey, not one more. Oh. 